how to improve your chances of implantation. It's one of the questions that I get asked all the time and there are many different things that you can do to optimize the way in which your body is operating and that really ultimately at the end of the day, as far as things that you have control over, is the only thing you can actually do. You know, when you're trying to conceive and you're trying to be um, as healthy as you can possibly be, that's going to make a huge difference to ensure that your hormonal balance, that your body's operating the way that it needs to, that you have the right amounts of nutrients in your body. So eating a healthy diet is going to bring in the nutrients that you need. It's also going to reduce unnecessary inflammation and really support your body in doing what it needs to do best, right? Um, there are many different things that I talk about on the 14 day fertility challenge. So, you know, that's another thing that you can do is actually do the 14 day fertility challenge if you haven't yet, because in, in participating in that event, you will start to really understand what are the things that you can do to take charge of your results, to optimize your chances of conception, irrespective of what hasn't worked in the past. You know, we've, we often find in my, in my clinic, the patients that go through our fertile method, they often um, have had many different things not go right for them. They have tried many different things and many had failed before. And the, the way in which they changed that was to implement a holistic methodology, you know, putting in place the self-care aspects that they could take charge of and do, like improving your diet, like removing toxins and chemicals from your environment, making sure that your body is being nourished in the best possible way that it can. You know, those are all ways that are going to increase your chances of implantation and of course, you know, having the healthy baby of your dreams. The other thing, of course, is if you've done IVF or if you're just about to do IVF and you're wondering about how can you increase or improve the, the chances of implantation uh, happening is ensuring that you have you know, the, not only the right nutrition but that you are relaxed to do, to do the process and that you're not overstressing yourself or feeling too anxious about the outcome. You know, really focus on being present and being in the moment of every, every day and every minute because that's when anxiety starts to get the better of you, right? So focusing on all of those things is going to help implantation. The other thing that is really important, you know, in terms of making sure that you have the best possible foundation is that both you and your partner are working on this together. Right? Because a healthy embryo is only going to be able to be created by two healthy prospective parents. So healthy egg, healthy sperm. That's what it takes to create an embryo that will have the ability to implant. And that, of course, in itself is going to help to improve your chances of implantation. So it's a really, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great question and it, there isn't one thing that you can do. It's a combination of living your best life now and being the very best version of yourself, doing and putting in place the things that you can, but also avoiding the things that you know are going to be problematic. For example, coffee has been shown to or decrease the risk uh, of a miscarriage happening and of course implantation occurring. Alcohol also has that impact. Of course, smoking is going to have a negative impact on implantation anyway. So removing those things for both prospective parents is going to help with the quality of the egg, quality of the sperm, and the ability for that egg, uh, to be, who, which will become an embryo, to implant in the best possible way. So those are the things that you can do. Get on with it and uh, get started. I hope that helps. Until next time, bye for now.